and, and that's one of the, one of the things I do uh, admire about Obama and his campaign when he was running is you know change is definitely great, but you know we have to make sure that it's the right change and that we're all in in in, 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 in well we have to all be in cahoots with what, what change it is and where the change is coming from and where is it going to better us where is it going to take us ten years from now with this change and will this change be ready for another change because everything changes every five years. That's a fact. So. That's a fact. Um, well, last question for me. Then we get to a couple fan questions. Fan questions. Then we out. Um, what can we expect from you next musically? Oh, musically, man, you can you can definitely just expect um nothing but the but the, but the best of, of, of what I have to what, what, what you know what I have to offer. You know what I'm saying? Just uh more more eclectic uh, records. You know um you know it's it's you know it's 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 for me it's just all about making music and, and, and making music that makes sense and uh making the kind of music that definitely uh puts me on on another level that no one actually uh knew was possible you know um it's 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 a uh, it's definitely a beautiful thing you know to, to be able to, to take my, my life experiences and and, and and you know musically take and, and, and do what I need to do in order for, for it's the only way for for me to fight back. I can't do anything negative, so um, I put everything into my music because of the simple fact that no one listens. And uh, you know, when, when you're not being taken serious, music is the only thing to me that uh, I, I can turn to to make everyone listen. And uh, and, and and it's a it's a blessing because I, I came a long way um, to to be able to, to to you know do anything musically, and that's what I asked the Lord for was to be musically inclined enough to. To spread my my um my wings across the whole board and, and that's exactly what it is, man. So, uh, you know, that's just you know, like I said, more eclectic, uh, more eclectic things with taste. You know, I got one called "Marry Me." You know, um, that's just a beautiful thing, man. It's just, just you know, uh, from my core, I adore you in every single way. You know, will you marry me? You know, just on like a like an opera type of vibe, and you you know, both our names aligned with the stars. We both parasailed on a spaceship to Mars. You know what I mean? Just to ride inside flying cars. You know what I mean? Shit like that. You know what I mean? You might be my angel. You know, like you know, just basically, just you know, uh, sent from heaven was an angel. You know, it's just just, just it's a fine. beautiful thing. Know, just, just making sure we get back to to uh, the the melodical uh, uh, side of music and then the, <laughs> and the real side of music. You know, if, if if everyone actually had talent, then we would uh we would probably on be on the phone with a lot of people. But right now, mm -hmm. um, they're skyping me because it's 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 uh it's definitely um me putting my my life experiences into uh into song, and um and and the fans are are able to watch what I'm what I'm. Uh, what I'm singing about, you know, go go uh, go on in front of their eyes, you know, um, and and you know, it's like, it's you know, like it it it, it, it angers me a lot of the time that I, I know um, what I do know, but it's not for me to, to to attack people. It's for me to to, to enlighten people, and, and and I'm not trying to bombard anyone's lives or step on anyone's toes, but it's some bitch ass niggas out here, you know what I'm saying? And and and, and I, I say that. With, with nothing but the disrespectfully respect vibe in my heart because of the simple fact that there's kids out here that listen to a lot of these situations called songs and to the vibrations, you know, that, that should be going on in the morning time. You still have that kid going to school and, and ending up on the playground, you know, seeing what mommy was playing. Bitch, I want to thug. Bitch, I want to so then the teacher walks by and the next thing you know, they get suspended. Because why? Then, 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 bitch, I want to bed. Then you want to whoop that kid's ass. But you playing that early in the goddamn morning. And, and he was out there showing out in front of his friends. And, and no, no, hell no. You need your ass whooped. Why don't you put on some goddamn classical music like you're supposed to? And be a fair, be a, be a real, a fair parent. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you can't, you can't manipulate the minds of, of those that you raise and then, and, and then uh, chastise uh, the, the ones that you love and without a, without a, explanation or looking at yourself in the mirror like I just showed you and uh you know um I don't know how any parent can look at themselves in the mirror or look at themselves in the mirror and actually see that that's right are you know, there any but, specific um, any are there any specific people that are making wrong I guess songs or vibrations for these kids to listen to that you think that should just not be listened to by younger the uh, younger audience I mean yeah fucking a young thug a lot of these pussy ass niggas man look man I'm a fan of young thug I, I, I don't think come yeah on, man, man. I, I don't I don't give 
give me shit about none of them niggas, man. Cause, really? You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, anytime, nigga, anytime you, nigga, Pac would have slapped the dog shit out that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't never get on, the, on, the, on no goddamn, no, 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 no goddamn front of no motherfucking, no, no damn uh, magazine cover and address and, and depict it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just like I got a problem with goddamn nigga loading. You know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it turns into what? Adult swim. So when you're thinking your kids in there sleep and, and you in there, you know, going deep and shit, you know, you, your kids gonna come back on the TV and now they're watching, you know, a Family Guy. Yeah. And, and and all these all these different, you know, it, it, it's 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 a slimy world. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's not for me to to to, to get mad at. It's for me to go ahead and, and reveal. I'm tired of being the only motherfucker that's in the world that sees it and nobody else wants to believe it. They're just sitting there laughing and laughing and laughing. All that shit's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So that I mean, that's really what it is. It has nothing to do with specific people, other than just the one, you know, one person that I may have named. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody depicts me as, as you know, uh, the crazy one, and I don't give a fuck. You want to know why? Because that's 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 you know what we all have in us when we when we do want to acknowledge that that word is uh, is is brought up because somebody actually said, "Hey, that's crazy." Well, he wasn't talking about a person, which makes you crazy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So we have to realize that these words insane, mentally challenged, all be that you know, let's let's be intellectually inclined here and use the right words and, and, and actually listen to what people are saying, kinda like when they screwed up what I said about, you know, me and the fan. You know, well well that in Orlando said that's a raven is not gonna happen with that. No, what I did say was what I said. You know, all they did was give me free publicity and, and, and have everybody search for something that that, that never was said and, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's 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 the setup. It's them waiting for for you to fall. And and you know what? And like what did I did? What did I say? It's all of us as a family. Mm-hmm. It's you know to get Crystal Crystal Kama, It's it's Ray. It's 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 you know Kyle. It's it's all of us. It's honestly it's, it's all of us as a family. This should not fuck me. It's 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 everyone as a family. That you know when you speak, like I said, when you speak, that's a raven too. You know that that's a big thing. That means that 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 everyone that was involved in that first, you know, saga would have to be, you know, in some way or of some sort, you know, uh, as as a pop up, whatever. It doesn't matter. But but everyone has to play their part the same way that magic that that magic well, you know, was to you know transpire on the first uh, run go around or the first run. You know, we, we we definitely have to put those those same powers back together and and and, and uh. And, and 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 it won't happen without all of us because everybody, you know, that 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 was our baby. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So you know, just definitely for everybody to to, to be excited about what Ray announced is it's definitely a blessing. You know. That's a fact. Um. Well, before we get out of here, we're gonna get into the last. We're gonna get into a couple fan questions and we out of here. Um. The the kid Chuck asks, where do I get one of those claw things with the vagina eating video from the vagina eating video? Oh man, you can. Well, I ordered mine especially. Um. From Italy, but you can it's 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 a uh, it's a lot of websites on online. They're actually um they're tribal and and, and they go back in time. Um, I remember uh, the first time I ever seen one. Raven's dad was wearing one, and uh, he's just a stylish guy, man. I, I respect him so much. Um, but you know he's probably pissed off at me for going on my tangent and uh and, and, and milking the fact that I, I you know I, I may have been right, but ideally you know uh. Just because you're, you're, you know, in, in your emotions, you know, you know, you're not supposed to just like, you know, air out certain shit. But at the end of the day, I was, you know, I was, I was talking to myself and talking to y'all at the same time. But at the end of the day, I wasn't, I didn't mean any harm. But um, like I said, he's definitely uh, somebody I definitely respect and, and in love. And, uh, and uh, you know, truthfully, that's where I, saw, I first saw it. So when I got older, I was like, you know what, I'm going to get one. And they were around. So uh, I definitely got one. <laughs> okay. Um, El Padrino asks, "What's your fa- what's your dream collab?" And I'm guessing you're not going to say Young Thug, but uh, who's your who's your man, dream collab? Fuck Young Thug, man, fuck him in the ass, man. Uh, but uh, tell him I said it, nigga. It ain't no, nigga. They, he know he don't want it with my ass, nigga. That's on everything. I know he don't, nigga. I stalk that nigga anywhere he go. Blood on my mama. That nigga don't want it. But uh, <laughs> all these niggas, man, motherfuckers. Man, I met this nigga. Anyway, <laughs> no, man. Oh, man. I just, man, me personally, man. I just know for a fact that I think that me, uh, me sitting down and collectively with with uh, Dr. Dre would definitely, um, would definitely change a lot of things as far as uh, as far as uh, me and in, in, in my expanding um, 
the music mentally uh, just just to pick his brain and, and uh, just to sit down and, and see see if it's even worth it. Like I said uh, in, my, in my first Brad interview, it's just uh, I think that would be awesome. I do know him personally. I've met him a few times, and uh, uh, I think that uh, he would he wouldn't be opposed to it. Okay. Um, but you know, just you know, we gotta let God let that God do what he do. Okay. Um, Sabzad asks. Do you have, is it true that you have music with London on the track coming? Or is that false? <laughs> it's true, I have a music with who? Uh, London on the track. Ironically, that is one of Young Thug's producers. I don't know, is, is, is that a fact? I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't know where he man, gets that from. I don't know where he gets that from. That's just a. Me personally, I don't know. Me personally, I just, me personally. If that was the case, I would say yeah, and I would say no. Y'all, you you know me to say yeah, and you know me to say no. Mm -hmm. I tell you what I know, and I tell you what I don't know. I don't even know that motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> okay, you heard me. I don't here. know that nigga, and he and I know he knows Orlando Brown. <laughs> and if you want to get down, then I'm hey man. Whenever he in town, you can call Mr. Brown. <laughs> right now, I haven't even heard none of the nigga sounds. Hey, you gotta be the funniest man of all time. You you you're you're a funny man. I, I love talking to you, man. Um, I appreciate talking to you, man. You know, it's just, you know, we shoot the shit, man. We be cool, man. Of you course, respect man. me, I respect you. That's what it is, man. You know, a lot of people just look at me from the outside and not, they, they, they act like they don't hear that I did strategically plan all that shit, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm not just repetitiously getting in the shower for nothing, dumbasses. Mm -hmm. I'm not just taking the shit for nothing, dumbasses. I'm not just, you know, I'm, okay. I'm doing all these things because when I was called, when I was being called crazy, it's like, okay, well, okay, I'm crazy for taking the shit. <laughs> Well, last question that we're going to have for this afternoon is from King Elijah Wan. He asks, do you have any upcoming plans on acting? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, uh, like I said, I, I'm getting ready for my night show. Um, kicking it live late night from Hollywood Boulevard with Mr. Uh, Orlando Brown and all that cool stuff. And uh, uh, definitely, um, uh, you know, going, going into, uh, you know, a little bit more of the uh, dotting the I's and crossing the T, uh, mm -hmm. T game out to the major pain two thing. And, uh, you know, um, essentially, uh, I did wanted to uh, wanted to uh, be able to direct my own movies and all that good stuff. So I I, uh, I got greenlit for um, definitely doing three movies, uh, and and uh, it's it's all coming under under Young Star Entertainment. So um, you know, I, I I definitely have the time now to focus on some of the writing and some of the scripts that I do have uh, in in my archive uh, coming very soon. But at the end of the day, it's just you know. You got to do it, uh, you know, project by project. So when I wrap up the first tour for, uh, for my fame, then uh, we'll definitely be able to, uh, you know, get into that into into that whole little little game of uh, game of swords. Okay, well, uh, what, do you like to this uh -huh. <laughs> what do you have to say before we get out of here, man? Any anything you got to say? I'm not the realm of human comprehension, and I'm the one that everyone should mention because of the simple fact that uh, a lot of these niggas can't pay their mama's pension. So what I'm telling you is, fire. you know what I mean? Hey, just, just pay attention. Pay attention. Don't let these motherfuckers put your put your brain in, in the left in the left pocket when when it should be in the right. God damn! If you let them niggas do that, then you'll be arguing with your goddamn self all night. <laughs> hey, is Orlando on drugs? Is Orlando a thug? Is Orlando is Orlando a bug? <laughs> no, dude, just give me a hug. Just give a nigga a hug and shut the fuck up. Let me do me. Let me do me. Is it entertaining? Don't you love it? Don't you mother don't you motherfucking love it? But look, let me tell you something. Give me a hug. You strap me the deuces when you see me in public, man. Because let me tell you something. I'm not only the one and only youngest breathing living legend. I'm the one that can say it. And I'm the one that can say it unarrogantly because I'm arrogant in who my father is and not in myself. So therefore, if my father's had, you know, well, if my father does own mansions inside of mansions, you know, it, you know that that's exactly what 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 it what it means. You know what I mean? And and, and uh, I, I I am from from that 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 great uh, what is it a cloth, cloth? cut yeah. uh, of of uh, of, of different de definite um uh, geniuses and, and all that cool stuff. But you know, a lot of people don't want to say it about themselves, and, and that's where that's where it, it you know. It, it, it differentiates who the person is from the artist. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like if these artists and in, in their songs talking about how great they are and, and, and actually getting, basically telling you who they are and whatever the case may be, whether they didn't have it before they fucking got it or not, they believed in it and they spoke it into existence. If you don't speak it into existence, a lot of time it won't happen. So I, I, I must say walk by faith and not by sight. And, um, and, and, and if you don't fuck with me, I won't fuck with you. We'll both be all right. All right, man. Well, uh, there you got it, man. Orlando Brown is probably one of my best interviews ever. Um, 
I got kind of scared at the beginning. Thought the man was finna start slandering my mama for a second, man. But uh, oh no, <laughs> man, you know, man, no, man, you know, I, 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 you, you paused. That's why it sounded boring. I was like, wait a minute, 